Hey guys, I'm Josh from Vidivik from Vidivik Arts, and today we're working on a looted tank for the Orcs of Orktober. That's right, this entire month I've been working on Orcs. So we started with the Killer Can, and we made some actual Orc infantry and some gobos, and now we've got a tank to boot. Now, this tank actually required me to make a completely unlooted version, so uh, there'll be another version coming out soon enough that's completely unlooted, and you'll be able to use the turret from that tank on this tank. And another note, all my other tanks that I've made, uh, the Panzer X, you, uh, you can use that turret as well on this, on this design. I intend to make all my tanks interchangeable in the future, and starting now, yeah, you can use those, those tanks if you want to. So before we get into the make of this, a huge thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are supporting me. Without you, this video wouldn't have been able to be here right now. So thank you so much. If you want to support me further on these videos, you're more than welcome to pledge a couple dollars per video. It really helps me out and I'm super grateful. You're enabling me to pay some bills and uh, work on this a little more full time. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this build and uh, yeah, let's get cooking. So my first thoughts when I started this build was maybe I could just recycle one of the other tanks that I made in a previous video and uh, I could just like slap some stuff on and I can actually do that. I mean anyone really can do a remake of that but I thought I would make something from scratch and to do that like I said I had to actually make a tank from scratch to begin with and then after that I would loot it up. So the first start of this was pretty much just making an entire scratch tank, which is based off, uh, we'll call it a lemon. I'll call it the lemon tank. That's what we're going to call it from now on. <laughs> so the lemon tank was, well, this design right here that's being shown. And uh, later on, I decided uh, I'm going to make the turret completely different. And uh, this was actually two days worth of build, uh, actually two or three days. This, this build took such a long time because it turned out that I had to add so many different uh, iterations of it and I decided to actually make side turrets for the tank itself um, and non-side turrets so if you want when it comes time to building this thing you have different variations and don't forget you can also use the tank from the Panzer X on this tank and you'll also be able to use the lemon tank uh, turret later on once, that, uh, once that's available. But for now, I mean, this tank has a lot of different things that you can uh, interchange and make it your own. You don't have to have that front plow, you don't have to have the side turrets. You can have armor sit over the top of the tracks, and you can also have just open tracks entirely. It's, it's really cool, I love the idea of being able to customize your own tanks, and I can't wait to see what you guys pull out of what I've given you. Now the big chunky turret on top is actually just a dreadnought that I uh, basically scrapped down and I pulled it apart and I slapped uh, a big turret in the center where the little uh, hole is for the pilot to see through. So now we've got a Dreadnought cannon face thing. And I thought it made more sense to just scrap something like a Dreadnought, but con considering this is a looted tank, they're more or less going to be using what they have on hand and it seems like Dreadnoughts would make a pretty good turret because they definitely look like a pretty good turret. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can change that turret around to be whatever you want. Now when it comes time to building this thing, I'm hoping I don't need to make a tutorial for that. Uh, it's a pretty simple, clear cut. Basically, you match where the points are together and use some glue to slap it all together. And it should work. Uh, the turrets themselves, I think they're a little finicky, but I've left a little rail for you to stick the bit that sticks another bit over the bit. You'll understand when you print it out. <laughs> It'll all just come together nice and neat. Make sure it just looks like uh, the tank that is being displayed. And when it came time to painting this thing, I used the flat matte black on the spray can, which I always use. And then once it dried, we got into it with the old Citadel paints. Now the color scheme that I'm using for these particular orcs are the corn red. Now I know it's uh, not exactly an orky color, but I really like this red and I kind of did uh, my uh, my other guys with that red. I just really like this color, so don't think you have to paint them the colors that I'm showing you. You're more than welcome to paint them whatever scheme you want and get creative if you really want to. So I started with that corn red and I did that undercoat and I built up some highlights on it. I didn't go too crazy with the highlights. And then I went into the metals. So I like to get those scratch marks and scuff marks wherever there's corners and there would be like a high amount of traffic or like 
uh, reason for there to be chipped paint along uh, on the long edges and all those kind of things, and even on like bolts and stuff. Now I didn't go into depth with this because I knew I was going to add in decals, so I didn't want to add it on everything because I knew I'd have to come back later on and put those scratch marks over those decals. Then when it came time to do the decals, it was pretty much just the white over some of the scrap metals. So there's like little uh, bits of metal that have been bolted in and it looks like it's just chunks of metal that they've slapped on and they've riveted in place. Now, they've been painted white, not all of them have been, and I've done a little checkerboard over the top of them. And that's a really, really orky kind of vibe that you get, and I'm not really that big into orcs, but this look, it's just really cool. It just, it just screams coolness. I'd actually really love to see some other people's variations of what they think is cool for orcs because there's a huge range of paint schemes out there, and I think all of them have their own little unique twists and coolness vibes to them. So if you uh, if you want to share any of your paint jobs of uh, your orcs from these models, so the, the 3D printed models that I'm supplying you, feel free to post a make in those particular models, because I want to see what you guys have to offer. Now, this is the model, nice and done right here. And as you can see, the turrets do swivel, and I'm really proud of how that came out. The turret on the top turns all the way around, 360. These are 180 degree turrets. And yeah, like, as you can see, it's, it's a good size. I'm really happy with it. And like I said before, we've got this tank over here, which was the Panzer X. And we can actually just remove that turret, grab the Panzer X turret, and put it right on top. Now, obviously, the paint schemes are a little off, but you could actually dedicate this turret to this tank if you wanted to, and you could match the color schemes. Or vice versa, if you really wanted to, you could grab the Panzer X and shove this turret on it. Who knows? There's a whole bunch of different looted tanks right there. You might even want to chuck the plow in front of this uh, Panzer X. This, that's the whole idea of a looted tank. You can be as creative as you want, and you're not wrong for doing it. And I actually think that's probably one of the coolest things about these tanks. It is completely up to you how you put them together and what it is that you exactly do with them. Now I do have another tanky project in mind for these orcs and it's artillery. Now I know there's a, a few artillery Warhammer models out there but I think I might stick to a more uh, my own design. So. I hope this doesn't upset you too much, but I'm really loving the idea of being as creative as I want, and this is probably the best uh, outlet that I have to do so with Orcs. So hopefully you like what I have in store for a future video. Anyways, if you want to download this for yourself, you can print one up, uh, you can print up 10 if you wanted to. Uh, you can head over to Thingiverse in the link in the description below, and it's completely free to download and have fun. Let me know if you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe and share it around if you did like it. And also, like I said before, if you want to support these videos further, you can head over to Patreon and pledge a couple dollars per month or per video, whichever one suits you best. You don't have to, but a uh, massive, massive appreciation for those who are supporting me over there. You really are helping me out a ton. Thank you so much, and thank you for watching. So, as always, stay awesome, everyone. See you guys.